Hi winners, today we're gonna talk about the difference between attracting and chasing. Me, I don't chase anything, okay? I really believe that you should let it come to you because it feels so much better when it comes to you. Whether it's money, lovers, opportunities, jobs, support, whatever it is, if you notice, I don't beg nobody to do nothing for me, okay? I always tap into the spiritual. I don't want any fake love. Don't show me no fake love. If it doesn't come naturally, I don't want it. Okay, when you're chasing things, like you're sending all these messages, asking people for stuff, asking people to shout you out, asking people to love you, chasing people that have left you, that is a low vibrating energy. Like you feel like it's not enough, you're not gonna get any more. When you are attracting things to yourself, you know it's gonna come. So you fill yourself up, like you tune your vibration into whatever it is you're trying to attract. Because it's not about you, it's about your story. So you don't want your story to be like, oh my gosh, I called him 18 times and on the 19th time he answered. No, you want it to flow so naturally to you, okay? So think about that with all the things you're trying to manifest in 2020. Like what can you do to tune yourself into the vibration so that it flows naturally to you? Because it feels so much better when it comes to you, okay? Anything that you chase is going to flee from you. So you need to attract it. So what I have for you to help you, you can enroll in my vision board training for visionaries course. I can help you tune into that vibration and really visualize a prosperous, loving, abundant 2020. Or you can enroll in my manifest love course and I will help you tune into the love vibration so that miracles can come to you from everywhere. It's not about you. It's about your story. And don't chase anything. Anything you chase is going to flee from you.